for Mrs. Sparkle. So, she painted her front door. Cleaned all her windows. Mowed the grass. And swept the chimney. Well, she said, that's the best I can do. Morning, Mrs. Sparkle, said Dig. Today's the day, said Doug. I hope everything looks tidy enough. Tidy enough for what? asked Doug. The smart new building you're putting next to my house. Dig and Doug laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see the mess we have to make first. Yes. Yeah. Mess, said Mrs. Sparkle. What sort of mess? How much mess? I thought you'd come to build something. We have, said Dig. But first, we have to make a mess, said Doug. Oh, my goodness! You'll be careful of my garden, won't you? And my shed. I love my shed. It's very old, and I like it just the way it is. And, and, oh! Poor Mrs. Sparkle. She was in a state before they'd even begun. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but Dig and Doug managed to calm her down. You'll hardly know we're here, said Doug. Hardly at all, said Dig. What's happening? shouted Mrs. Sparkle. Is it an earthquake? Is it the end of the world? But it wasn't. It was Mr. Rubble with the bulldozer. Morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Rubble said Dig and Doug. Time we got started. Time I put the kettle on, said Mrs. Sparkle and hurried inside. Mr. Rubble explained what he wanted done with the bulldozer. But Mrs. Sparkle was still worried about what they were going to do. She was sure that something terrible was going to happen to her garden. In other words, said Doug when Mr. Rubble had finished. What you want me to do is flatten it. That's it, said Mr. Rubble. Flat as a pancake. Flatten it. Flatten my shed. Surely they can't mean... Oh. I must find out. I must ask them, because it's a special shed, and I don't want anyone breaking it or spoiling it or damaging it in any way. Oh, no! Oh, no! Just then, Daisy arrived on her skateboard. Hello, Uncle Doug. Hello, Dig. Morning, Mr. Rubble. Hello, Daisy, they all called. And then it happened. Look out, Mrs. Sparkle! Careful, Daisy! Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! Mrs. Sparkle! Oh! Poor Mrs. Sparkle. She wasn't having a good day at all. Daisy told Mrs. Sparkle how sorry she was and offered to go shopping with her. Thank you, Daisy, she said. But we'll have to walk. I'm not very good at skateboarding. Dig and Doug were pleased to see that Mrs. Sparkle hadn't hurt herself and watched as she and Daisy set off for the shops. Right, said Mr. Rubble. I'll move your truck out of the way. You two had better get started before anything else happens. Right, said Dig. Right, said Doug. And don't forget to look after Mrs. Sparkle's shed. Don't worry, said Dig. Leave it to us, said Doug. And they set about levelling the site.
was sure the shed looked different suddenly. And then he realised. Doug, look at this! What? shouted Doug, who couldn't hear above the powerful engine. The shed! yelled Dig. It's leaning the other way! Hold on! Now then, what's all the fuss about? Mrs Sparkle's shed is about to fall down. Nonsense, said Doug. I saw it move, said Dig. Rubbish, said Doug. It's leaning the same as it always leaned. And he set off again. Quickly, Doug, come and look, it's done it again. Now look, Dig, said Doug. We'll never get anything done if we keep stopping. I'm telling you, Doug, any minute now, it's going to collapse. And Mrs Sparkle won't be pleased about that. Doug decided to take a closer look. Nothing wrong with it at all, said Doug. A fuss spot, that's all you are. Let's check inside, just to be sure, said Dig. And so they did. You see, said Doug, safe as houses. Oh, 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 safe as what, said Dick. All right, clever boots, said Doug. Don't just stand there. She'll be back any minute. <laughs> Before very long, Dig and Doug had not only got Mrs Sparkle's shed back on its feet again, but it wasn't leaning over anymore. I should be pleased with that, I reckon. Better than it was before. Toot, toot! Look at us, Dig! Look at us, Uncle Doug! said a voice suddenly. Dig and Doug could hardly believe their eyes. Toot, toot! called Mrs Sparkle. My shopping express coming through! Toot toot! Toot toot! And then it happened again. Toot toot! Whee! <laughs> Dig and Doug couldn't bear to look. Oh, that's it, Mrs Sparkle. Nice and slowly, said Daisy. I'm fine, dear. It's my shed I'm worried about. Is it all right? Dig and Doug waited for Mrs Sparkle to notice that her shed was not only all right, but standing up straight. Oh, no! It's wonky, she said. Wonky, said Dig. Wonky, said Doug. I know, said Daisy. Try this. That's better, said Mrs Sparkle. Oh, for a moment there, it looked as though someone had banged into it. <laughs> <laughs>